So, you want a mage build that can run over and steamroll every boss in this game? Well, I got you. This right here is my Radiant Zap Antenna. Now you may be wondering by the color of it, it's not really that powerful, right? Since it goes in order, green to blue and then to purple, which is not the highest tier. But this thing is an absolute menace. Let me go ahead and show you why. So this guy right here is the old fart. Now he may not look big, but once I enter his little domain, he is one menace. A lot of people do have problems with this guy because they don't know how to parry. But honestly, if you have this weapon right here and you know how to parry, he's going to die fairly, fairly quickly. So here's what happens when I use it on him. Yep, just like that. Killed them in under one minute. It's pretty crazy because if you have more people, it's an insta kill. Now, if you need more examples, I got you. Big fish, done. A flying slime, done. Granny, done. The sailor man, done. That little freak on all fours, done. An egg, done. The dumb ant where you get this weapon from, absolutely murdered. Previously mentioned old fart was absolutely obliterated. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys how to make this weapon. So of course, in order to make this weapon, you're gonna have to get the weapon. I recommend going to the Savannah, which if you don't know how to get here, here's a little fast forward of me running over. And here we are. And as it says right here, zap antenna. The only thing that would have an antenna is of course the, the ants. These little uh, brown turds right here. Honestly, they're not that hard. Just learn the patterns, just like every mob in this game. Yeah, it shouldn't, sh it, it shouldn't take too long to kill this guy. And then once you get your zap antenna, you can go ahead and farm these specialized mobs or modified. You could also find normal mobs to have a chance for the gems, or you could do the big iron, which I'm going to do that in a bit here. So just go ahead and yeah, kill these specialized guys. Higher chance for dropping modified gems. Fortunately, I didn't get one there, but let's go ahead and head on over to the big iron. Now, in order to do the big iron, you're gonna have to do every single boss fight on the screen. That means you're gonna have to go ahead and find them on the map or somebody who's able to do the big iron invites you to their raid and then you could kill them for the badge completion. And once you do the big iron a couple times, you could talk to this little statue right here and exchange your coins for a bag of gems or all of these other items. From there, you wanna go to the observatory, which is the place where you could talk to this little skeleton right here and forge gems onto your weapons and use the explosive gem if you have it and if you want to you can go ahead and check out my items right here you can switch out the wonderful diver hood with a wonderful mushroom cap for that extra intelligence but of course your agility will be basically zero so you're gonna have to learn how to parry everything i got the bright nerds glasses storm boots and you might be wondering yourself these aren't really like the best accessories to have on a mage. And I understand that. But the one main thing you do need to have is this bright scale spark right here. Bright is from the reforge, but the spark scale is from a boss found near the observatory or this little ocean. Now you can search up a tutorial on how to get here because I'm getting a little too tired. But basically you want to roam around these seas a little bit and then you'll see a big fish. Anyways, if I don't find him here, I'll probably put a clip on the screen. But basically, this big fish, you can find him with a normal antenna or fight him with any other weapon. Just go on to land, just, and all you need to know is that once you're on land, he just does big slams that may not even reach you if you have range. So go ahead and kill him. And this guy drops two main items in the mage's loadout, which is the diver's outfit and the spark scale. And basically what the spark scale does, you deal 15% extra damage to shocked enemies. And since this weapon is a lightning, weapon you'll just do a ton more damage with the heavy attack on the zap antenna and then from there you can kill every boss that's basically it but before i end here let me go ahead and show you guys a clip of me soloing the old fart with one no armor two no accessories and three no modified zap antenna just showing you how overpowered the weapon really is and how useful it is to parry attacks here it is all right first hit and let's start parrying And you're dead.